SGT University presents a short documentary on India's activities and expeditions in Antarctica. Antarctica is a landmass covered under vast ice sheets located at the southernmost point on Earth. It is the fifth largest continent and the coldest, driest and windiest place on the planet. Antarctica plays a vital role in the global oceanic and climatic systems. Due to the climatic extremes and isolation, Antarctica is the most untouched regions on the Earth. This makes it extremely valuable for all types of scientific research, but especially research on global climate. It has the cleanest air in the world, making it an ideal place to study climate change. Its land contains the ecohistory of continents. Many countries have set up research stations here to study the climate, weather, geology, and wildlife of this unique region. Antarctica is an important location for observing the intersection of the Earth's magnetic field and charged particles from the Sun. It is perhaps the only place in the Southern Hemisphere from where observations on simultaneous activity in the ionosphere and the Earth's magnetic field can be made. It provides relative freedom from man-made sources of electrical interference, hence it forms an ideal environment for conducting studies on radio wave propagation and radio noise levels both in the ionosphere and the lower atmosphere. Antarctica is very important to India's scientific interests. It is the only place where the Indian Ocean communicates with the Antarctic waters. The Indian Antarctic program is a multidisciplinary, multi-institutional program. It is managed by the National Center for Polar and Ocean Research, Goa, an autonomous institute under the Ministry of Earth Sciences. India launched its first expedition to Antarctica in 1981. Prime Minister Indira Gandhi had initiated the program on priority. Famous Indian marine biologist, the late Dr. Syed Zahur Qasim, led the mission. He was then the Secretary of Department of Environment and held the post of Director, National Institute of Oceanography. The expedition left Goa on December 6, 1981, on board MV Polar Circle, a ship hired from Norway. The team consisted of 21 individuals, including scientists, technicians, and Navy officers. They landed in Antarctica on January 9, 1982, and returned to Goa on February 21, 1982. The expedition took 77 days, successfully covering a journey of 21,366 kilometers. The Indian Antarctic program has completed 40 scientific expeditions till now. India has built three permanent research base stations in Antarctica. The first one being Dakshin Gangotri, which was built in 1983. Maitri, the second one was built in 1988. And the latest one, Bharti, was built in 2012. As of today, Maitri and Bharti are fully operational. Indian scientists have discovered 20 new microbes in Antarctica and published over 300 research publications based on Antarctic studies. Politically, Antarctica's status remains neutral and it is regulated by the 1959 Antarctic Treaty, which established Antarctica as a region of peace and cooperation. The treaty applies to all the land and ice shelves south of 60 degrees south latitude, almost 10% of the Earth, and now has more than 45 signatory nations that meet annually to discuss and decide activities in Antarctica. India joined the Antarctic Treaty in 1983 as it flagged off its third expedition to the frozen continent. In August 2022, Parliament passed the Indian Antarctic Bill. The bill aimed at having India's own national measures for protecting Antarctica's environment. The bill also proposes to set up Indian Antarctic Authority under the Ministry of Earth Sciences as the apex decision-making authority. Indian research programs in recent expeditions to Antarctica are aimed at understanding Antarctic climate, geology, sea ice, greenhouse gases, and their linkages with climate change using ice core drilling. This research will help address global warming and other issues concerning human life and well-being. Thank you for watching this.